I only live about 10 minutes from my client's, uh, my client's new house. When I close on any home, I like to give it a very personalized gift for my clients, so depending on their interests. Or My client's wife was very concerned about the cleanliness. You know, when you move into a new home, you want it to be professionally cleaned and sterilized. She really wanted a professional clean before they moved in, so that was part of my gift to them. I'm living in the danger zone by bringing that cup in the car with me, but we like to keep it exciting around here. I think the hardest part about juggling multiple, like my e-commerce business as well as my real estate business is finding out like I really had to set aside certain days where I focus on one thing alone. And so I'm not going back and forth and just, or not completing tasks that really need to get done. So setting aside like, and you know, of course it's a rough schedule, especially with real estate or having your own business, things change every single day. Different problems come up and the biggest thing is just being able to adapt and just roll with the punches and problem solve because things that you've never dealt with before come up all the time. And that goes for my real estate business. New things come up in different transactions that I've never dealt with before as well as um, selling products online. And I think the biggest thing that successful people have in common is that they can adapt quickly. You just know that everything could change, completely change tomorrow. For us, last year our marketing strategy was completely different and this year we noticed, you know, our numbers have been down this year and so we've had to re- just adapt our marketing strategy and we've switched a lot to video marketing um, because on Amazon strictly PPC campaigns just aren't working in my specific product and I think it's across the board in sales and so we really have to show people why they should purchase our product over someone else's and there's also more competition and sellers coming out with kind of a similar product that's kind of like a knockoff and a cheaper version. And this year with the economy, people are just deciding, they're just being very careful with their pocketbooks this year. With the economy and just so many unknowns. So that's the really tough part about being your own boss and running your own company is that you don't really have, I mean, of course you can hire consultants and other people that to be in your corner, but when it all comes down to it, it is your responsibility and your decisions. I worked a nine to five my entire adult life. And it wasn't until the end of 2019 when I decided to quit my job and pursue my own wants and dreams and it has been a roller coaster really high highs and some really low lows but the times when my business has been down and mistakes had been made and you know things had to change I was able to grow and learn more than I ever have working my nine-to-five job and I think that's the biggest thing um, I just showed up and she's not here yet so um, but I think that's the biggest thing. Oh, that might be her right now. Is that I've learned so much about myself and I've grown more in the past three years than I have in my entire career. It just like really push pushes you because you have no other choice. You have no one else to lean on. I mean, you know that of course you could go back to work, but or you know find a new job but that has also been some been really hard to do in these past few years with covid and layoffs and the economy and so it's a blessing and a curse 
that you have only yourself to turn to and it just pushes you in a way that you never knew that you could grow and that's what I love about entrepreneurship especially I'm not so much in like the brick and mortar more of the online businesses product businesses because you can build something and improve it and keep improving it look at your reviews use those as something to make changes to your product and uh, make it better your next launch and you can send it in they can take care of the shipping and I have something that is working for me while I sleep because people are online 24 hours a day and so it's just been a really beautiful and exciting and scary and amazing journey and I just kind of want to share that with you if I can do it someone who has always worked work for someone else um, I've never run my own business and if I can do it then so can you anyone can do this it is not easy it doesn't mean that every everyone will succeed at it if it's something that you've been thinking about just start saving your money you really need to have you should have at least six months of your expenses in your emergency fund because you never know when something's gonna come up and that goes for anyone even if you do work a nine-to-five job you have to have some cushion if you are living paycheck to paycheck you're never gonna get ahead and so one of my favorite books the very first finance book that I read was the richest man in Babylon and he just talks about you don't have to put away so much that it's um, an amount that you're gonna dig into but if you just take 10% of your paycheck and start putting it into a savings account but even better to put it into an investment account so then you are earning dividends you're earning compound interest but this is this is a video for a whole nother video but the point is that you should before you quit your job you need to have at least six months of an emergency fund in your savings account and this is separate from the investment that you're making in the business so that's my tip for anyone who is considering starting their own online business you need to have some savings I so in my previous YouTube it was a real estate account where we shared everything about the local area and I was very tied to my community and um, a very specific audience and for that, you know, we would have a lot of videos that were scripted. So when I first sat down and was thinking about, okay, what's my first video I'm going to post on YouTube? I wrote out a script and then I started reading it off and, and I just felt so unnatural, even though it was my words that I wrote down. Like, I just want this to be more of a conversational vlog, like connecting with like-minded people. I don't want this to be... Um, stats and and all this but I want this to be more like I'm having a conversation with you and we're learning from each other we're we're connecting through this channel and and so kind of building a community around like-minded women that are ambitious that want more with their life um, this is what I am building if that's something you're interested in subscribe <laughs> hit the notification bell and subscribe no I just want this to be more of a creative outlet a connection to a, and hopefully this finds other like-minded women who are either own their own business or are thinking about owning their own business or starting an e-commerce brand or selling a course like I don't do any of those like courses or digital products or anything like that but I mean, I see a lot of people make tons of money on it. I just, I wouldn't know where to start with that. Okay, I didn't film anything in there, but the house looked great. The best part about this house is the view. So I'll show you guys an old clip from that because we were too busy chatting because I never met her before and I'll probably use her in the future. She. Um, it's a new business for her. I love supporting female-owned businesses, and she's new to it, kind of figuring things out. So, um, yeah, I love.
love that kind of stuff. She works full time and then also does the cleaning on the side. So I'm like, you go girl. Get that side gig. Get that money, honey. But now I'm gonna go check on um, the flooring that's going in on this new project that we're working on. So we're pulling up to the job site and we're gonna go check out the new flooring because this is a flooring that we've never that we haven't used before so I just want to see how it looks but come on let's go to see because the electricity isn't and the lighting isn't in yet but I think it looks really nice it's very uniform sometimes when you get flooring it has like tons of movement and you know when you just look at the little sample it's it's not really how the whole Thing looks together so I think it looks really good I'm gonna go grab a few things for dinner tonight I'm gonna make some very hearty minestrone soup the transition into fall is one of my favorite times of year I'm not really a winter girl I do like to go skiing um, and that's one thing that does make me happy in the winters I'm definitely a summer girl, but I love the transition into fall as well. So it's feeling like fall today. Let's make some soup. Okay. I didn't have everything that I wanted, like the specific brand that I usually get for my canned tomatoes. But that's okay. And since we moved to this smaller town and just living like a much slower lifestyle, it's it's nice because I feel like when we're in the city, everything's like go, go, go. And a lot of times we're just grabbing dinner, like going to eat out for dinner. But here we like pretty much every night we make dinner at home and we eat a lot healthier because of that. And we also just like really sit down at the table and eat dinner together and I think that's really nice. <laughs> actually home today so I'm excited to just use this day to get organized but I'm just happy to be home today so I can catch up before the weekend
hitting a roadblock with work and so I spent all morning working on this and it's still not resolved which is really frustrating. It's Friday and that's okay. I'm gonna take a little break. I sent out the email that I needed to send and I am gonna take a little break and clean up. Okay, it's been a morning. Well, it's afternoon now. But I'm gonna take Mr. Bear. Ready to go for a walk? You wanna go for a walk? Okay, we had a nice walk. Okay, I really need to organize in here. But these are some of the things that I love to take for this is for hydration. And it's an electrolyte blend. Thank you. 